So what are the tools that you need to install and also remove a decoupler pulley? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Lightens, manufacturers of the original OAD pulley. Visit lightensaftermarket.com for more information. The best way to remove or install a decoupler pulley is with the proper tools. There are a lot of kits out there on the market for this purpose. They include the correct Torx, triple squares, and inserts to properly remove the decoupler pulley and also install it. You can use a torque wrench and properly torque it down without damaging the decoupler pulley. The second option is to take the alternator off the vehicle, remove the back of the housing, put it in a vise clamping down on the rotor itself. There are a couple cons with this. First of all, you could damage the alternator and potentially damage the rotor itself. And you also have to reassemble the alternator before it goes up back on the vehicle. One advantage, well, you'll get to use a torque wrench to properly torque down the decoupler pulley. The least recommended method is using an impact. With the decoupler pulley in a vise, you can use an impact in the center and hopefully remove the decoupler pulley or install one. The main disadvantage is you're not gonna know the final torque on the decoupler pulley. Also, you should only do it for two or three pulses. Chances are you could possibly damage the decoupler pulley or damage the alternator itself. If you're using the impact method, you're gonna to need to turn the decoupler pulley in the drive direction two times until you feel it catch. This is required before you run the engine and turn the decoupler pulley. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.